Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. So in this lecture, we are going to find out the support friction, the shear force diagram, and the bending moment diagram for this beam. This is a beam with the two supports. One is the hinge support and one is the roller support. And the extended portion of this beam, which is called is the cantilever portion of this beam, is being loaded with the 5 kN per meter load, which is a distributed load. And this load has been distributed over the distance of 5 meter. And the other portion of the beam, which is not loaded, is also 5 meter. So the total length of the beam is 10 meter. And we have to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for such beam. So for drawing the shear force in bending moment diagram, first we have to find out the support reactions. That what is the support reactions of R of A and B. So to find out the support reactions, we have to use the summation of moment equation R by the other equations. So we can use three types of the equations. Summation of horizontal forces is equal to zero. Summation of y forces equal to zero. Vertical forces are summation of moment equal to zero. Since there is no such horizontal force, we cannot use this equation. We don't know the two support reactions. So this equation is not suitable to use it because if only one is unknown, so we can use this e equation. But here we have two unknowns, so reaction at A and B, so we cannot use this equation. While summation of moment can be used if we have two unknowns. You, you see here, there are two unknowns, so we can use this equation here to find out the support reactions. And let's suppose I want to find out the summation of moment at point B equal to zero at this point. So, and I want to that the clockwise moment is positive while the anti-clockwise is negative. So all the clockwise moment will be taken as positive and all the anti-clockwise moment will be taken as negative. Now, to find out the summation of moment at P equal to zero, so this load creates a moment which is in clockwise direction. This moment ejecting downward in, in clockwise direction. So how to find out the at point B? So 5 is load multiplied with the distance, which is 5 meter, multiplied with the moment arm. So what will be the moment arm for this distributed load? It will be the from the start of this load to the middle of the load. So the start of the load from here up to the midpoint of the load. So 5 divided by 2, we get 2.5 meter. So the whole load will act at the, cent at the center. The distributed load, if you multiply with the distance, we get a concentrated load. And this concentrated load will act at the middle of the 5 meters. It will be 2.5 meter. So 5 is load multiplied with the distance of 5 meter and multiplying with the moment arm, which is 2.5 meter. So this one is in clockwise direction, all the load. So it will be taken as positive. Now, the support RA. Let's suppose this is acting upward. We call this RA. And RA makes also a clockwise. You see here, this will rotate around the B in clockwise direction. So it will be RA multiplied with the moment arm, which is 5. In the case of simply, in the case of the concentrated load, it is quite simple. Just multiplying the load with the moment arm. Moment arm is 5 meter here. And summation of moment in B equal to 0. This load cannot produce, or B cannot produce any moment, cannot produce any moment because the load itself passed through point B. So there is no moment arm. That's why there is no moment. So by multiplying and adding these values, 5 into 5, and we get 62.5 and RA into 5 equal to 0. So if we shift this on the right side, we get minus 5 RA and dividing this minus 5 here, so we get RA equal to minus 12.5. This is in kilonewton because this load is in kilonewton per meter. So we get a support reaction of RA of minus 12.5. What does this negative sign mean? It means that our assumption was wrong. So we have to change the sign and this support reaction is acting downward now. RA with a magnitude of 12.5 kilonewton. So how to find out the support B, RB? 
and we assume that this load is acting upward. So let's suppose summation of y is equal to 0. Now we can use this equation because we have only one unknown that is Rb. Summation of all vertical forces equal to 0 and we assume that the force is acting upward like it we assume here Rb. The force which is acting upward will be taken as positive and the downward force will be taken as negative. So the upward force is Rb, it is positive, Ra is acting downward, so it will be negative minus Ra and again the this load which is the distributed load is also acting downward so it will be minus 5 into 5 equal to 0 because 5 is a magnitude and it is distributed over the distance of over the length of 5 meter so 5 into 5 will be the concentrated load so we can shift this value onto the right side so we get rb equal to ra plus 5 into 5 25 so now RB, RA is, RA is 12.5 plus 25. So we get RB equal to 37.5 kilonewton. So this is the support reactions at RB, 37.5 kilonewton. Now the next step is to find out the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram from these support reactions. Now after finding the support reactions of Re which comes out to be 12.5 kN and Rb which is 37.5 kN, we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So first I have to draw the reference lines. This is the reference line for the shear force and this is the reference lines for the bending moment diagram. So these are the reference lines 0 0 and these are the 0 0 shear these are the shear force and kilonewton and this is the bending moment and kilonewton meter so to start with the shear force first we know that the support reactions at point A is 12.5 kilonewton but this one is acting downward so it means it is negative so this is 0, 0, the above value is positive, the below, this reference line will be taken as negative. So 12.5 is acting downward, so it will be in negative. This is 12.5 and the unit of kilonewton. Now there is no load acting on this beam, so it will be a smooth line. And there is support reactions of 37.5 kilonewton, so 12.5 is acting downward. And 37 is acting upward 37.5 so by subtracting and adding we get off value of 25 so it means 37 is acting upward but subtracting the minus 12.5 so we get 25 so we have 25 kilonewton here acting at this point now again there is a uniformly distributed load acting downward so what is the magnitude 5 kilonewton multiplying with the 5 which is the which is distributed throughout the whole length so 5 into 5 25 so this whole load is 25 kilonewton so this is acting downward while this is was acting upward so this will bring this is plus 25 and this 25 is acting downward which will be negative so it will cancel each other it will become zero here so this was this load was acting downward while here this one while acting upward so plus 25 adding with minus 25 we will get zero that's why our shear force value here is zero now how to draw the bending moment diagram from this shear force diagram so first of all we have to find the area of the shear force diagrams so what is the area of this rectangle this is 12.5 is the vertical distance height and the length is 5 meter we know so the area of this will be a1, the area of this rectangle will be 12 multiplied by 12.5 multiplied by the 5 because 12 is the height and 5 meter is the length of this rectangle. So it comes out to be 62.5. While this rectangle is in downward below the zero, so we call it is negative. 
so it will be minus 62.5 the area of this rectangle is minus 62.5 so simply the movement will also be minus 62.5 kN meter here at this point the bending moment value will be zero because it is a hinge support it cannot resist any moment so here is zero and then it is 62.5 so 62.5 will be somewhere here 62.5 kN meter so I will draw directly a line from this point to this point because the area of this rectangle was 62.5 and this was one degree line so this was zero degree line it was a horizontal line while this will be a one degree line because the bending moment diagram is always one degree greater than the shear force this was zero degree so this will be one degree line now the area of this triangle this is a triangle we know the height is 25 the base is the length is 5 meter here and we can find out the area of this triangle so area A2 will be half how to find out the area of triangle half base into height base is 5 and height is 25 and this all value is acting above the zero point which means positive so this will be positive so by multiplying this and dividing by 2 we get 62.5 again so it means the area of this triangle is also 62.5 and it is acting in upward direction means positive so minus 62.5 plus 62.5 it will bring it zero so it means if I add this plus 62.5 it will become zero so here our moment value will be zero so it will be like this 62.5 here while it will make it zero at this point because this moment because this area is above the reference zero zero so it is positive while this one is negative so it makes it negative while this one makes it positive so by adding these two value we get zero here at this point so this is the whole bending moment value for this B and hope you guys understand how to find out the shear force bending moment in support frictions for beam and this method can also be applied to any type of the beam and also the, this bending moment curve will be one degree higher than this curve this is a you can see here a constant line of one degree so this line will be a curve of two degree it cannot be a straight line or the constant one degree line but it will be one degree higher than the shear force so it is a two degree line so this was all about the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video